what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy, Justin, aka Adobe Juan Kenobi. And today we're gonna be talking about the new Trippy Red music video for Big 14 featuring Offset and Moneybag Yo. There's a specific transition in there that you might've noticed. It's a slow shutter transition that looks a little something like this. Now in Hollywood, they've been doing this effect for years. It's called step printing. And today I'm gonna teach you how to do this exact effect in Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so now that we are in Premiere, you'll notice I have a few clips and I'm going to show you how to do the slow shutter step printing effect on all three of them. So with our first one, we are going to select it, change the speed to anywhere from 800 to 1600, and then just change the time interpolation to frame blending, hit okay. And you'll notice that we do have similar effect it is sped up and we are getting a little bit of the bleeding shutter lag, but the effect is not done yet. So with our clip selected again, we're going to right click, go down to nest, hit okay. And then we're gonna go over to our toolbar here and third tool down, we are going to select the rate stretch tool. And with that selected, we are going to click and drag at the end of our clip and increase the length about 75%. And if we play it back, you will notice that we have the cool shutter lag effect. So let's try something different with this clip. So we'll go Command J, speed it up by about 1200% this time. Time interpolation set to frame blending. Hit OK. Nest it. And finally, drag it out a little bit. So here we got a cool, really subtle jitter. I kind of like that look for this clip in particular. And finally, if you want to make it a serious shutter lag, like you've probably seen in some music videos, what we're going to do is speed up the clip to 800%, select frame blending, but this time when we nest it, we are going to stretch it out very long. So about four times as long. And you'll notice that we have a very slow shutter lag when we play it back. So some really cool effects you can do, just play around with it and see what you come up with. And there we have it folks, make sure to like and subscribe if you want weekly tutorials like this. I'm going super hard on YouTube right now, so let me know in the comments below what other tutorials you wanna see or what type of content you wanna see from me. And until next time, peace.